Tornadoes have captured our imagination like no other form of weather. They can transport you to a magical Technicolor world, lift cows into the air, wipe out the Hollywood sign, and occasionally they're full of sharks. Bloody a move! But in real life, they also wreak serious havoc. Tornadoes. Severe weather that spawns tornadoes causes an average of $10 billion a year in losses and dozens of injuries and deaths. And as with every form of wild weather, climate change could play a role in making them worse. So how do tornadoes form? The secret sauce for tornadoes is instability in the atmosphere. Ideal tornado conditions occur when there's warm, moist air lower in the atmosphere with cold, dry air sitting above it. All while winds at different heights blow in different directions at different speeds, kind of like a multi-level wind highway. As that warm air rises, as hot air does, it starts to interact with winds at different levels in the atmosphere and rotate horizontally at first. The clash with the cold air above adds to the intensity and forms a supercell, a towering cloud that can be a precursor to tornadoes. But not all supercells spawn tornadoes. In fact, the odds of a tornado forming are low and scientists don't fully understand why that is. What they do know is that warm air continuing to get sucked up into the supercell and a strong downdraft of cold air are precursors to tornadoes. These conditions guide the powerful rotating winds from the atmosphere to the ground when a tornado is officially formed. Tornadoes have the most violent winds on Earth. Scientists rank them on the enhanced Fujita scale. This scale ranges from EF0, with winds of 65 miles per hour, up to EF5, which are tornadoes with winds greater than 200 miles per hour. The most powerful tornado ever recorded touched down in Oklahoma in 1999 with winds of 302 miles per hour, which also happens to be the highest winds ever observed on the planet. The most powerful tornadoes are rare but cause what textbooks describe as incredible damage. Among the things they can do are level strong frame houses and toss cars the length of a football field. The official description of an EF5 tornado says that incredible phenomena will occur. Tornadoes can occur at any place at any time of year. But the U.S. is home to 75% of the world's tornadoes, and most occur in spring in the tornado alley that runs across the Great Plains from the Oklahoma Panhandle to Kansas. That's because of a quirk of geography and meteorology. Warm, moist air is available year-round from the Gulf of Mexico and frequently gets sucked from south to north into the U.S. At the same time, the Rockies and winds running from west to east ensure there's always cooler air aloft, creating a prime tornado setup. Lucky us. But U.S. tornadoes are changing, and climate change may be playing a role. The Ohio River Valley and Southeast are seeing more twisters than they used to a few decades ago, while the Great Plains are seeing a drop. The overall changes aren't huge numbers-wise. We're talking one more or less tornado per year, per decade in most cases. But there are other signs tornado behavior is changing as well. Clusters of tornadoes have become more common than they were in the 1950s, including big outbreaks of 30 or more. Some of this may be tied to climate change and the simple fact that a warmer atmosphere can hold more water and become more unstable. Rising temperatures have also lengthened spring and fall, both times when unstable atmospheric conditions are likely. But other natural climate patterns could also be reshaping tornado outbreaks. That includes a decades-long shift in Atlantic Ocean temperatures that reshape weather around the world. Tornadoes are also tiny in the big picture of our planet's climate. That means that while we can spot trends and hypothesize what could be behind them, there's a lot we don't know about what the future will hold. There's potential for more tornadoes, but it is safe to say they won't be full of sharks. Ah!